temple behind me is called Wat Pong Sonua. There's a lot of temples in the inner city of Lampang. The designs are definitely different than uh, Chiang Mai. This temple in particular is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Friend said it's a very old temple. Needs a lot of tree imagery. about this place that my friend not told me about it. It's definitely worth the visit. Very cool. Still building. is called Wat Sui Chung. This is a mosque. The Yak Guardian over there, he looks cute. He has a big face. Kind of cartoony.
Suka Kao Don Tao Suta Daran. Oh, I got it wrong. Wow, this thing's huge. Saturday, that's my day. It's the day I was born. This one's only for monks. The feeling here is pretty unique. The temples are a bit different. Like I said before, the last temple that we just visited, uh, I don't re recommend going to that one. You have to pay 20 baht and there's not much to it. But this temple is pretty cool. It has a big giant chedi. This temple is pretty cool. has like a cartoon-esque kind of art. Oh, there's a well in here. That's cool. Okay, I think this is my favorite temple in Nantan. This one's cool. I wonder if that's made out of real gold. Now you tell me that that. That one's a cool temple. I recommend that one. The one before that, I don't recommend. Only because there's not much to it. I mean, 20 baht, it's whatever. But most of these temples are free. But this temple is my favorite one. Uh, uh, in Lampang. This temple is called Wat Chang Tang. destination for today is the night market and we got to wait until 5 p.m. until it opens it's about 4 20 right now we got this restaurant that it's a very unique city they even got an English menu, nice. Snakehead fish.
I got the chicken cashew with rice. I wanted to save my stomach for the street food that we're about to have later. It is my meal. Cashew chicken, let's go. Not bad. I don't taste the cashews. I taste the chili. It's not bad. It has a roasted cashew taste. A little bit different than uh, satay, pork satay. It's a different kind of cashew taste. This isn't as sweet as satay, but it's pretty good. That was pretty good. Now we're at the night market. Everything's starting to open up. We're still kind of early to the night market. It just turned 5 p.m. What about? Oh, thank you. Hello. 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 Pork. I got some watermelon. Look how much they gave me. Usually, um, 20 baht of watermelon isn't this much. This scenery kind of reminds me of uh, Laos, Vientiane. There's buildings that are very close to each other. And there's a long night, long street market that runs through here. Yeah, the market has different things. It's a different atmosphere here. It's just, it's just like any other city, really. They got all the same things Chiang Mai has. But with less foreigners. The authentic Thai experience. We got some shirts here. Ready? I'm ready. I don't want to eat it. Just egg, just fire it's just egg. egg, yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, eh. <clears throat> I want to try something more interesting. Look at you. Got the Western buildings like Laos. Oh, cool. Maybe. Well, they don't have any in my size, so I'll pass. The sushi they have.
pizza. So much food. Lampang is a very quaint place. Definitely has some character to it. If you're in northern Thailand, definitely check Lampang out. A lot of the buildings look very old. Like old fashioned style. All right guys, so I just made it back to Chiang Mai and Lampang was fun, man. I recommend going. So if I could imagine Yentian Laos without the French influence, without it being colonized, that's exactly what Lampang. So yeah, man, if you wanna go check it out, definitely go check out those two main places first. And uh, yeah, we ended up taking a shuttle back. So I recommend getting your tickets to go there and back before you take the bus. Because when we tried to come back, there was no tickets available. They said maybe there will be tickets available at 8 p.m. But thankfully, nobody that bought, that made reservations online showed up. So we were able to catch the ride. So I highly recommend getting your tickets in advance if you want to. If you want to see all of Lampang, maybe like three, two to three days to see everything. But I mean, some of the temples were okay, but a few temples were pretty good. So yeah. I'm going to sign out guys. Let me know in the comments below what I should check out next and see you guys in the next video.